which of the following periods during pregnancy does radiation exposure confer the greatest risk to the fetus option a we have 1 to 10 weeks option b we have 11 to 20 weeks option c we have 21 to 30 weeks or option d we have 31 to 40 weeks so here the correct answer is option a 1 to 10 weeks okay so we have next mcqs which of the following expired factor will result in the highest radiation dose to the patient option a we have 85 kvp and 20 mas option b we have 95 kvp 16 mas option c we have 95 kvp 6 mas or option d we have 95 kvp 5 mas so we know in the x-ray for the highest radiation we must have higher mas and lower kvp then this will be the greatest uh, exposure factor so here the correct answer is option a 85 kvp and 20 mas Okay, so next MCQ we have which of the following rotation occurs on stimulation of hydrogen nuclei when uh, by an external magnetic field. Option A we have swinging, option B we have resonance, option C we have relaxation, or option D we have precision. So here we already know in the MRI is the precision option D. Okay, so next MCQ we have which of the following symbolize the atomic number. The symbol of atomic number option a we have a option b we have c or option d we or option c we have z so here the correct answer is option c and the mass number the symbol of mass number is a okay so next mcus we have which of the following is the main difference between general radiography and mammographic grids option a we have general radiographic grids increase patient dose option b we have mammographic grids increase the image contrast option c we have general radiography grids have higher ratios or option d we have mammography grids have higher ratios so here the correct answer is option c general radiography grids have higher ratios and it is eight ratio one for general and for the mammography it is five ratio one okay so next mcqs we have which of the following projection best visualize a foreign body lodged in the hand Option A, we have lateral and oblique. Option B, we have AP and oblique. Option C, we have PA and oblique. Or option D, we have PA and lateral. So here the correct answer is option D, PA and lateral. Okay, so next MCQs we have, which of the following is the specific organ in each gender which receives the greatest dose in AP upper GIT projections? Option A, we have lungs. Option B, we have testes. Option C, we have aries. Option D, we have bone marrow. So here the correct answer is option A, lungs. Okay, so the next MCU we have which of the following is the most appropriate way to demonstrate the gallbladder? Option A we have ultrasound, option B we have CT scan, option C we have plain X ray, or option D we have IVU. So here the correct answer is option A. Okay, the next MCU we have which of the following cavitation type is most likely to cause biological damage in ultrasonography? Option A we have acute, option B we have stable, option C we have chronic, or option D we have transient. So here the correct answer is option D transient. Okay, the next MCUs we have which of the following is typically the thickness of sodium iodide crystal used in a gamma camera and emission radiation 140 kvp. Option A we have 1 mm, option C we option B we have 5 mm, option C we have 1 centimeter, or option D we have 5 centimeter. So here the correct answer is option C. One centimeter. Okay, the next steps you will be have which of the following abdomen examination gives the largest coronal dose. Option A we have male AP, option B we have female AP, option C we have female PA, option D we have male literal. So here the correct answer is option A male AP. Okay, the next steps you will be have which of the following is the most likely infection acquired in healthcare facilities. Option A we have fomite, electrogenic, idiopathic, or option D we have nosocomial. So here the correct answer is option D, also come here. Okay, so the next MCQs we have, which of the following is the principal decay mode of technetium 99M? Option A, we have beta minus. Option B, we have pair production. Option C, we have electron capture. Or option D, we have isomeric transition. So here the correct answer is option D. Okay, so next MCQs we have, the calcaneus bone is one of which of the following bones? Skull, hand, facial, or foot? So we already know it's the foot. Okay, so next steps use we have which of the following cranial bone contains the foramen magnum? Option A we have frontal, option B we have occipital, option C we have zygomatic, option D we have right parietal. So here the correct answer is option B occipital bone. Thank you.